So the future of education and the future of work, all spaces I'm very much plugged into, blockchain is such a critical element to that. In order to build products that resonate with a large set of users, you need to have diversity at the table of the people designing, testing, and bringing those products to, to life. Everyone in this space, in the crypto and blockchain space, has a role to play to bring in more diversity and, and more uh, you know, equity in, in, in the space itself. Like We need more women in, in the crypto space, not just the crypto space. I think we need more women in the emerging technology space and, and need to enable a lot of the women. The digital economy isn't just about Canada, America, the European Union, and a few, you know, a few other countries. It's about connecting the world. Um, and it's about providing products, services, solutions um, that impact and benefit everybody in the world. It's about wealth creation globally. Um, and so I think the more immigrants or people with that perspective in Canada uh, and in the Western world can become passionate about blockchain technology and become passionate about democratizing our uh, finances, democratizing access to information, democratizing you know, the content that's on our internet, um, the better it is for uh, our families abroad. Students are coming here to study because they want to learn from the top-notch technology, from the top-notch um, professors that are here, which they have uh, the experience of developing, for example, the blockchain and making it as a successful, you know, uh, business eventually for them. In the tech space, if you're a software developer, if you go for a job interview, um, they may, if, if you get to a certain level, ask you to do a software test that takes 45 minutes to an hour. You have to do the coding. They have to do that for every interview that they go to. They could do that once and store that on, on their blockchain and then allow access to any employer to see oh yes, this person actually did this. Because guess what? Sometimes they get their friends to do that test, right? So this way, the employer knows for sure that this is the person who did it. They practically see, okay, you learned this in school, but you actually are able to do this. Um, so the practical application of that. And that individual doesn't have to send it 10 times. They just, they just do it once and store it on the blockchain. So the future of education and the future of work all spaces I'm very much plugged into, blockchain is such a critical element to that and um, that's why I'm focused here. The innovation of around blockchain and Bitcoin is transformative in nature. It's something we're going to do, work with 20 years from now, 40 years from now, and we're at the very beginning of this. If I would talk about, you know, how does mining and Bitcoin work, that doesn't really resonate with them a lot. And, and what we might talk about how does permission blockchain work and what are the underlying technology details, that doesn't really work. So I feel like it was really about helping them understand what the technology potential is for their business and how this could bring about a lot of efficiencies in their business. And I mentioned, you know, reducing the cost of controls. Um, so I think you know, as you, real, as you get into a lot more details and look under the hood on how these businesses, for example, banks work, uh, the amount of interaction, the amount of people that are involved in a single process, as you start to dig deeper into that, you start to uncover a lot more potential efficiencies that could be obtained by, the, by blockchain technologies. So I feel like that optimization of business is certainly something that, that from an enterprise blockchain standpoint uh, is one of the key factors I think could be very beneficial to a lot of the institutions. So if we think of it as a generational innovation, then what happens this year or last year or next year really doesn't matter. Again, we talked about the needs in education sector for this global foreign trained recognition. Um, blockchain serves that. If you think about income, how do I generate my income? You know, blockchain serves that. So any newcomer coming here, I think the value is the multicultural learning that you're going to have. This, you got to think about Canada as some sort of MVP for the world. 